Normally, most people would go and chuck this on the compost heap, but I'm actually going to turn all this peel and remains of my cooking into a lovely compost heap jelly. This wonderfully frugal jelly allows you to use up the leftover skins and peels that are so rich in pectin and flavour. I'm just going to roughly cut these up to soften the peel and to get the flavour out of them. It doesn't matter if you've got any cores or any pips because it's all going to be strained out when it's been softened. I often think it's silly that we chuck out all this goodness, that lovely flavour that we've got in these citrus peels and it just rots away in the garden. Once you've roughly chopped your peels, add around one and a half litres of water or enough to generously cover. And now I'm going to put the lid on the pan. Put that on to gently simmer for 45 minutes to an hour or until the fruit is soft. Let's go and see how that fruit's cooking. So that looks pretty good. And now to strain our compost heap concoction. Pour in through here. Take care. Lovely smell. Ooh. There we are. If you want a nice crystal clear jelly, don't squeeze your bag, just let it drip through overnight and you'll get a lot of good juice out for your jelly. Take the weight out and carefully lift the bag off. Measure your strained liquor in a jug, then weigh 450 grams of sugar for every 600 ml of juice. Sugar is the vital ingredient in all jam and jelly making, as it preserves the fruit and stops it from spoiling. You're going to be surprised at how this cloudy old juice is going to turn into a lovely crystal jelly. For this pectin-rich jelly, I use inexpensive granulated sugar. With all jam making, when you put the sugar in, you need to stir until the sugar's dissolved. Leave your liquor to boil on a high heat for approximately 10 minutes, or until it's reached its setting point. Now the bubbles have gone, and they've, it's, they've disappeared. I'm left with this lovely, clear jelly. I like to just pour from a jug, so I tip into a, a good roomy jug with a good pouring spout. We really need to pour this quite quickly to prevent a skin forming when it goes into the jar. Yeah, that's five lovely jars, that's spot on. I've made those really with just a little bit of my time. A bag of sugar, and all that old rubbish that was going to go on the compost heap. If you've got any air bubbles, on the top or in the jar, just give them a quick sharp tap on the table. That's going to dispel any bubbles. With a fresh and delightfully tangy taste, I think of my compost heap jelly as a shredless marmalade. It even makes an ideal accompaniment to cold meats. Mm, compost heap jelly. Let's spread this on my bread. It's delicious. Mm, that's beautiful. Really lemony and fruity. And what better place to eat it than in the veg patch, sitting in the sun.